Welcome back to Colonial Sports Center. We're joined now by RMU football head coach John Banasak. Thanks for being with us tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. So beginning of the season, you guys obviously weren't doing so hot. What were you telling the team to kind of keep their morale up? Well, we told them an awful lot of things trying to get them to understand um, the level of play. We have, we're a very young football team. Uh, a lot of freshmen and uh, redshirt freshmen, sophomores playing. Uh, Having a young football team, uh, you get to build on these things, and um, I still have confidence in them. I still believe we're going to be a good football team, um, and and they know how I feel about them. Um, but the, the big, the biggest thing is that they've got to feel that way. They've got to feel that they they can go out and play well early in a ball game that they don't always have to fight their way back. So now that you've won a game against CCSU, how have you seen the character change, their behavior change at practice, on the field, off the field, in the locker room? Well, obviously after the game there was uh, a tremendous amount of excitement and, and enthusiasm for the win, um, and they deserve to be that excited about it uh, because they've gone through an awful lot in the first seven weeks of the season. And uh, I think it, you know, it finally occurred to them that they couldn't fight their way back, that they're good enough and tough enough to be able to do that, to overcome adversity and the things that uh, went wrong in that ball game. And uh, after the first 58 seconds, uh, our defense shut, the, uh, shut Central Connecticut out the rest of the game, and our offense scored 21 points to win that game. Special teams contributed to the win. Uh, we had an onside kick early in the first half that led to three points. And then we had a big uh, punt return um, by Antoine Eddy of 31 yards to set up another score in the fourth quarter. You talked a little bit about adversity. I know there were a few rough penalties, like roughing the quarterback, roughing the punter. Did that kind of like get you guys in a rut? How did you overcome that? Well, it certainly gets me in, uh, in a Tizzy, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I I just thought that the two calls, um, the roughing a quarterback was, um, it's a judgment call, um, and the official didn't take into uh, account that the, the quarterback was carrying out a run fake, and he was going down the line of scrimmage on that run fake, where, you know, if he would have been a, a passer throwing the ball at that time, um, I can give them a little bit of leeway on that. But um, I think that I was right in my argument with the official that he was carrying out his fake, and um, and my and my defender, you know, is allowed to take one step and hit the quarterback. Switching gears to some of the good things that happened in that game. There were a lot of standout players who had standout games. I mean, we had Ryan Thermo, Derek Abbott, Nick Lamica, Senefani, who is sticky, as I understand is his name. Can you pick just one player who really stood out to you? No, I really can't play, pick one player. Um, in, in, in talking with the kids the whole week, I, I talked about the, the need for all of our players to make plays. And... You know, it, it's your responsibility as a player on the field to make a play. Um, and, you know, if once we have more plays being made by more players, things are going to start working out in our favor. What are some of the things you're looking to either duplicate or change going into Bryant, who is ranked number 25, actually? We really have focused on... On, on narrowing our game plan so that it's uh, understandable to our kids and that, and that um, there isn't any hesitation on our players' part on the field because once you start thinking on the football field, you're going to be a step or two behind. Um, the game of football is a reactionary game, and um, that's the way we have to play. And I think that um, narrowing what we're going to do offensively and defensively in our game plan is going to work out pretty good for us. Okay. Well, I hope it works out too. I have okay. good luck this Saturday. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for joining us. Yeah, you bet.
Make sure you stick around for after the break. We'll have some primetime plays for you.